good morning. So I would like to clarify my last video on avatars. So I felt some people were feeling like this lack energy and I, I totally understand that. Like not all of us have fully stepped into that version of ourselves that we're able to access our, our gifts. So I would like to put this video out there for anyone who's really interested in stepping into your power and, you know, activating some of this stuff because we can all do it. You know, I am no more special than anyone else. I just have gone through some things and I would like to share with you uh, maybe some of the things that you can do to develop your own, your own gifts and abilities and become really multidimensional and expanded. So the first thing I would like to say is that most of my gifts and abilities started to enter my life when I started to exit the matrix. A lot of those old existing programs are really put into place. They're instilled in us to keep us in a lower dimension. So, you know, that means the, <laughs> the world we live in is designed to keep us in a denser version of ourselves so that we do not access higher levels of consciousness and, you know, higher gifts, abilities, and uh, talents. So I would say for anyone who's really interested in upgrading themselves is to create your own matrix. And that means becoming self-sufficient enough to the point where you can be self-sustainable. So that will give you basically the foundation to create yourself. Now, another thing I want to talk about is initiation. A lot of our gifts, a lot of our psychic, like telepathic, intuitive gifts come through initiations. And a lot of it is through mystical vision quests. Being open to the higher realms often means going deep within ourselves. So a lot of times I would notice I would receive visions and very, you know, mystical abilities after a time of challenge. So you want to face the darkness. That's what, you know, the dark night of the soul. That's an initiation. We go through these portals, these little time loops in our spiritual journey to, to be able to open up, to be able to flower and that comes through facing the darkness. So I remember one particular initiation of mine. Spirit has allowed me to um, speak on this. <laughs> it was my first night off grid. I had decided to make a big move. I had had enough of the matrix and I um, I'd been planning for a while. I bought a new truck, my Tacoma, and I packed it up. I packed it up my whole house in this, in this truck. And I decided that I was going to go live in the forest. And uh, my first night out just happened to be one of the biggest hail lightning storms that summer that northern Arizona had ever seen. Now, as you can imagine, being up on some cliff area on some mountainous ridge, you know, just I, I had all like my, my whole life was packed up. And I was just clinging to sanity while, you know, all the forces and the elements of nature were just pounding down on this mountain that I, that, that I was sitting on. So that was my initiation. And I do feel that after I got through that, I faced that challenge. And I was still off gridding after that. It didn't deter me. But that, oh yeah, that was definitely... A, a changing point, a shifting point. I knew that this was not going to be an easy life, but that's what spirit wanted me to, sh to see. So that was a time where a lot of doors opened up for me, like a, a lot of keys were given to me, but it wasn't easy. Like that was one of the scariest experiences of my life. Like I really questioned just God and God was like, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you a bonus. So I, I know that we have to face our darkness to be able to upgrade. Another thing I wanted to mention are a couple of the mistakes I made that really kind of depleted my power centers and didn't allow me to advance. So maybe this will help other people not make these mistakes. Um, number one is you never want to misuse 
your abilities. Like using them to hurt others is a serious no-no. And using them to like, um, I don't know, using them out of, out of what God wants you to use them is the quickest way to get them taken away. I remember after getting super amped, because living on the land, after a while, you just naturally get power from Gaia. And I remember I was like, whoa, like I got, I have all these like bending skills. And the first guy that pissed me off, I remember like bending like a fireball towards him. And spirit came through so quick and was like, no, no, nay, nay, nay. This is done. And I was, that gift was taken away for a long time. I didn't get, I didn't get it back until I could show the universe that I could keep my, my fire like in check. So that is the misuse of, of power. And that's how you get it taken away. Another thing is, is hating on other people's power. Like if you see others who are in their, in their highest version and they're able to like manifest and things just like synchronize with them and you know it just makes you envious and that's just like natural human behavior but if you continue to hate on that and you really like degrade their power and want to take it away from them the universe will come through and just be like no you don't you can't have power it's like I've learned that you have to respect power to be able to be given power yeah, other people are in power that shouldn't be, but that shouldn't, you know, it's almost like we have to stay in our own lane when it comes to creating our own reality and knowing that we're in power. We're, we're in the seat. You're in the driver's seat of your universe. You know, I'm in the driver's seat of my universe. So there's no reason to try to snatch other people's power. Like I said, that's that's a mistake. The universe will, will take that as you not wanting power. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I think a lot about the Bhagavad Gita and Arjuna, and I just think that's such a good example of pure, raw, divine power. You know, I, I was so inspired by Arjuna, Arjuna, whatever you want to call it. I had a cat that I named Arjuna, so... I, uh, I had just so much inspiration from that um, warrior in the Bhagavad because it just shows that you can be sitting with so much power and use it only for good. It's only for the right time for what God wants. And I think that book is the best guide on how to, you know, serve, serve the highest divine forces with your power, your abilities. So the last thing I wanted to mention, and this is like sacred, sacred territory here is nature and plants. So in particular, I want to talk about medicinals. This has been the way of healing for me. And I am not pushing this on anybody. But I will say that if you are stagnant, if you have become stuck for, for years and maybe there is some sort of dis-ease or illness that is keeping you in a lower version, I would say for anybody wanting, you know, striving to expand, speak to mother, speak to God and ask for that medicine and it will come in the form that you will need it. If you were to go and drink some alcohol, you would be completely accepted. But if you would want to, you know, heal and expand your mind with a plant that comes out of the earth, oh, well, that's a little different now, is it? And don't worry about the small minds, the people that are trying to shame you. They're everywhere. They're on this channel, which I don't know why you guys come on. But seriously, if anyone seriously needs that medicinal expansion in their journey, go for it. It's going to be a lot better than staying stuck and staying in that lower vibrational field, which the matrix is truly wanting of you. So you're going to have to push through those barriers. You know, me just even talking about it right now is pushing through the barriers. I'm going to start talking about it more. Our minds like to expand. And for some reason, Gaia made plants 
that are productive in that healing journey. So use them at your discretion and don't listen to the small minds around you. So anyway, I think that's all I had to talk to you about. I really think that a lot of us are really getting there. We just have to continue to, you know, create more of these new conscious programs within ourselves. I always think about, you know, orcas. A lot of us have gifts, but some of us are in sea world still. You're not going to be doing some crazy cool tricks out in the ocean when you live in sea world. It's up to you to get out of the matrix and start living your highest truth. You know, don't take the dogma. Don't limit yourself. Allow yourself to expand. And that's what we're here for. I love you guys so much. Till my next one. You take care. Peace.